the fourth, fourth guy. Anyone here know a fourth name? Andrade. Triple G, Jamal Charlie. Triple G, Jamal. No, Triple G got to wait. He got to get in line. Charlie. Triple G got to get past Charlie. Charlie. Andre. Triple G got to get past the trend. He got to get past Charlie. Andre. Name one more. Andre. 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 Bingo. That's one. I had. Thanks. Give me one more. Demetrius Andre. Demetrius Andre. Yeah. What about what about Billy Joe? Who? What about Billy Joe? Billy Joe have a, he got to beat he got to beat one of those three or four names. Andrea he got to beat he, he got to beat someone that everybody knows that it was a test for him to get the right to fight the top guy. You got to earn it. You can't just walk in there. Thank one more question you. for you. Wouldn't it be a little bit more tight for Canelo to, to fight Danny instead of uh, instead of Lemieux? And no, just, uh, no. Because I because because I think I think that Daniel, Daniel Jacobs with the title be the significant name if you don't get Canelo right away you bring more 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 conversation it'll be more of a bigger match David Lemieux been in there with Triple G David Lemieux been in there with the fruit fighters not that many but at least three fighters that we know his credibility there and we know he got a punch that can hurt anybody that's the key he can pitch your lights out and so if you pick two guys together that don't like the run that really stand there and bang you and Canelo shown that he can stay there and take your punch by fighting Triple G twice and not ducking as much the second time that scared the hell out of me. I'd like to see that fight right away. That's a fight man fight. But no, Sai, listen, if we break down Andre and Canelo, if it happens, we're talking about Booba Andre, a possibility. How do you break that fight down between Canelo and Demetrius Andre down the road? Canelo had to be aggressive and Andre had to be more at the box of punches. That's the style. Now with Canelo no longer on pay-per-view, you have, you have been a pay-per-view star when you back in boxing. Who could feel that boy now with Canelo on his own digital platform who's the next pay-per-view star well there's always someone out there to take the next step from an open door that's been been void so it's up to the fighters it's up to wherever they at whoever they under far as promotional banner it's wide open to be the next star to be the next person so to me it's fair game it's fair game. Right now, if I was young and coming to fight her, I got an opportunity now to be in that spot. Ma many people forget that Canelo fought once over 160 with the cash play with Julio Sosa Chavez. Do you think that was the... They the forgot. They, yeah. You didn't, but yeah. they forgot. Do you think that was the, the perfect preparation for somebody like Rocky Fielding that's the natural 168 fighter? Might be, but it necessarily not for him. It could be for any 68-pounder. Canelo know that he can handle a 68-pounder. He know he can handle a punch from a 68 Eight pounder, and he also know that he can hurt a 68 pounder. So to me, he's gonna be more in his comfort zone than actually fighting that 160. Yeah. Thank you, Bernard.